Hey everyone, I'm Penny with Specialty Outdoors and I'm going to make a little, few little videos that will help with a van shade tutorial I'm working on. I was looking for tips on making some coverings for the windows in my van and I found some tutorials but I didn't love them so I'm going to make my own. In this video I'm just going to show you a little bit about fabric layout and getting ready to cut. So first, I'm going to talk about some products I'm using to make these shades. This is not a shill for anybody. This is just things I found over the years that really help me to do a nicer job. First of all, this is a Pellon grid fabric. You buy it by the yard at Joann's. It's actually a washable fabric. It's great for making patterns. In particular, what I like about this one is that if you can take your window measurements and then you can block them out on this and draw a really nice symmetrical uh, symmetrical pattern instead of trying to square up something on a piece of plain paper. You can fold it half and mark your items out. This particular pattern I'm using is for the rear windows on my ProMaster and this upper piece is the first one I made. It's a panel that's folded under so that so first, I'm going to talk about um, getting set up. And the first thing I'm going to show you is the pattern I made. You know, you could just measure your window dimensions, you know, 25 by, by 25 and cut it out on a piece of paper. But I find that using this gridded Pellon, this is a, a like an interfacing type fabric that you can buy by the yard at Joann's or similar, is really easy to draw on. It's marked on one inch grids. You can use a Sharpie on it. In this case, for my pattern draft, I taped it up on the wall, traced the shapes of my windows, and then went on from there. Um, additionally, I've got the center marked. You can see I've got the bottom shape I want. I was working out the top of the panel on the left-hand door where I can stack it above the window. And then what I was able to do is take the finished measurements and cut out a really nice pattern as you can see here. Um, you don't have to do it this way. You can use giant craft paper and rulers and squares, but if you use a gridded paper um, you can be much more accurate. Second thing I'm going to show you is a temporary spray adhesive. I imagine you get this at a quilt shop. This bottle is about 12 years old. I uh, empty it out and spray it out after I use it every time. But this will help you stick your layers together so that they don't shift as you're working on them. This is my panel that I've already cut and I've got it ready to cut to the final size. So what we've got here is we've got our outer layer, which is the gray ripstop. I've got it right side out. I have the inner layer, which is a warm window insulation with the mylar side towards the back and the lining towards the inside. And then my inside layer, which is another layer of ripstop. And how I did this is I cut the pieces much larger than my pattern. The bottom piece here, this gray one, was taped down flat with blue tape. I put a spray of this adhesive on it, smoothed it out, laid out the, uh, the lining on it, the insulation, smoothed that out. Another thing of spray. You can see it's kind of stuck on there. And then my final layer, and I've got a nice stable sandwich here. 